Today, my dad and I are trying to fix the air conditioning compressor on a Volvo V70 1998 model. What happens with these Volvo compressors and probably other cars compressors as well is that they have an electromagnetic clutch that switches the compressor into and out of the belt system as needed to maintain the right pressure. However, with lots of use, in this case this car is more than a decade old, the compressor plates will wear out. The gap gets too large and the electromagnet cannot produce enough force to reliably hold them together. Thus, the compressor, once it heats up, more resistance in the electromagnet coils, less force, and the air conditioning compressor cuts out on the hottest days when the engine is warmed up. Here is a look at the compressor clutch in question. If I can get the screwdriver down there, right where the tip of the screwdriver is resting, that is the gap we are looking for. And it doesn't look like much on camera, but that gap is approximately twice what it should be for proper operation of the compressor. So we're going to use some combination of little plastic shims to get in there. Again, not sure if I can get this on camera. It's kind of tricky, but it is possible to wedge the plate further apart from, it's got this little spring-loaded spider thing that sort of gives it some spring tension. And you can sort of stretch the springs a bit more and force it closer. So that is what we're going to do by putting little plastic pieces in the right location there. And that should revive the compressor enough for another summer's of use. To act as the shims to hold the clutch plate closer together, we're using these little plastic clips from these hold bags of bread or buns shut when you get them at the store. And turns out, with a little notch cut in them there, these are the perfect shape and the perfect thickness to get the clutch plate back in the right position. Here, you can see the first of the shims in. This is made of one of those bread clips I showed you earlier. And you can't see the gap now because we've forced it all the way closed. We forced the clutch on by jamming the screwdriver in here so we have the space to insert the bread clip. But that is installed. We're going to put some adhesive on that so it doesn't come flying out when the engine's at speed. And then we will put two more on the other two spring arms, and that will complete the fix, hopefully. When we investigated the other two clips on the clutch, they were still intact and in the right position, and the gap on those sides of the clutch plate were still right where they should be. So it was only this one here that we replaced where the clip had flown off from some combination of heat and time and rotational speed. So now that that's replaced, we finished the fix by applying some of this orange-red, it's actually a high temp gasket maker, but it serves as a flexible temp resistant adhesive to just better hold the clip in. But now you can see there's just a tiniest, tiniest gap right there. That's all it needs to disengage, and it only has that far to travel when it needs to engage. So. That should have revived the aircon, and now let's give it a bit of a test. It's about 29 Celsius out, so it's getting humid. Good time for a quick test. We won't know for sure if the fix worked until we drive it for an extended period of time on a hot day and the entire engine has time to warm up, but here's a look at the air vents with the AC off. And now we're going to turn the aircon on and see what that does. It's already falling. Give that a minute to fully come up. Oh, 
I'd say that's working pretty well now. Certainly, it's not cutting out on us so far, so that's a good sign. And it's pulling down the inside of the car. I'd say that's fixed.